Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to be finishing up the Cabot House quest line. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna come over here and talk to Maria. Hey. This place is off limits. You'd best move along. Edward Deegan sent me. I'm looking for a missing package. Oh, you're the new guy. So this package, pretty sure we know where it is. The guys that shot Ben are holed up in the Parsons Creamery. Just north of here. Thanks for your help. Sure thing. Hey, be careful. It's weird that they're still hanging around so close. Normal raiders would have grabbed the loot and bugged out by now. It's like they're scouting the place or something. I'll be glad when you clear them out. We're gonna continue coming down. We're gonna head down this road. We're gonna be heading over here to the tower. This isn't the Parsons Creamery over here. But it is a place we wanna stop by first. You're off to the left. We're going to come up right here next to the tower. Now, if you want to go to the top of the tower here in Lynn Woods, you can. You can set off a siren. It's going to spawn in some raiders and two death claws. So be aware of that. We're going to crouch because raiders are going to spawn in behind us. We're just coming over here to grab a Wastelander survival guide. And it'll be right here on the sleeping bag. Yes. Now, when we come out of here, we're going to have some raiders walking up. You can see them right here. I'll find you! There's the other one. You can stand up here for a minute. Let's take this dirt path down. Gunners. Right here is the courier that got ambushed. Here's the Parson Creamery. top here grab the mysterious serum we're gonna bring that back to Jack Cabot but before we do we're gonna come over to the Yangtze and we're gonna finish up their bee monsters 
Let's go ahead and take some Radix. We're going to go inside the submarine. You have dampening coil? Ah! Yoshu! Yoshu! Now, to get nuclear fuel. I'm ready. The next step seems simple. But do not be deceived. Two hundred years ago, I launched all of Yangtze's high-yield nuclear missiles. As ordered. For two hundred years, I have lived with that guilt. That shame. So much fire, such bay, but one missile failed to launch. You must go down, remove the warhead, then bring it to me. I'm on it. I admire your spirit. While you are getting warhead, I will prepare the reactor. But now I must warn you, there is danger. We shall. Old crew, still down there. Not okay like their captain. Worse, they do not harm me, but they will kill you. I, I cannot kill them. Still, they are my crew, my family, Jaren, all of us. But you must do what you must do. So we're going to head down here, go into the bulkhead terminal, and open up the door. <gasps> Ooh, he is waiting for me. got to be careful because my explosive ammo can harm me too. Dog meat's getting in the way as usual. Come on now, dog meat. Over here, we're going to have the first mate. He's a glowing ghoul. But nothing we can't handle. Grab the submariner hat. I think that's a really cool hat. We're going to open up the ICBM and grab the warhead. I don't know why I bothered uh, taking the radiation off. We're just going to get irradiated again. You can stand up. There are some more ghouls down here. But as long as you're not opening up the doors, you should be all right. Let's talk to Captain Zhao. Here is the warhead. No difficulty with the warhead, I trust. I'm alive, aren't I? Be resolved. And the thing is done. Now, here is what you must do. Head down to the reactor. Take dampening coil and warhead with you. First, insert the dampening coil. Carefully, Xiaoxin. Then, put warhead into the reactor. As you do that, I monitor power levels from the control room. Do not put warhead in first. Do that? Si Wang. Death for you and me both. 
So he is not lying about that. Do not put the warhead in first or you will die. It will explode. So we're going to put the dampening coil in first. And then we'll go ahead and put the warhead in. So, was not sure my beautiful Yangzi would hold together. But we did it. Here, payments I'll promised you. Plus, to show my thanks, I give you these uh, uh, transponders. Each one acts as a homing signal for missile I can fire from my Yangzi. Only small, tactical nukes. But you should still get as far away as possible. Throw transponder like a grenade to activate it. Then wait for Baoza. Kaboom. I wish you a safe journey. Many thanks. I look forward to seeing my Zhongguo soon. Soon I will set sail. You should get ashore. Farewell, American. I must admit, I have met worse capitalists. Those are pretty cool. You only get a certain amount of them. We'll actually equip them. The transponders. Oh, uh, we also got Zhao's sword. There's nothing special about it besides the name. Other than that, it's up to you if you want to use them. So we're going to favorite those. And we're going to switch out our artillery smoke. I'll show those off eventually. Let's go ahead and go to the Cabot house. Go into our map and then fast travel over to the Cabot house. Let's take some rat away. Go inside. Not acceptable. Imogene is missing and I want her found. She's not missing, Mother! Do you know where she is? No, but that doesn't Your sister mean... is missing and I want her found. What else is Edward for if not to keep the family safe? I'd be happy to send someone to look for her, ma'am. It's not... Mother, a... Edward has better things to do than sending someone out to find Imogene. Again. Imogene is out there somewhere, maybe even lying dead in a ditch, and you don't even care! I'm not going to have Edward drop everything just because Imogene decided to take a lover again! Jack, how dare you speak so disrespectfully about your sister? If your father were here, he'd send So did you to find out Imogene. what happened to the courier? She's perfectly Some raiders set up camp near Parsons and ambushed him. I took care of them. Hmm. I don't like raiders operating so close to Parsons. I hope this isn't the start of something serious. What about the serum he was carrying? Did you get any of it back? So if you want, you can say that it was all gone or you didn't find any. The serum really isn't that good. So it's up to you. I'm just going to give him the serum. There was only this one vial left. Oh, good. I was afraid we wouldn't get any of it back. Here's your pay for the job. I'm throwing in a little bonus for bringing back the serum. That was good work. Now, as far as what's next. Oh, hell, I guess it's time you met Wilhelmina. Jack's not going to be happy about it. Come on. I insist you send someone to find Imogene. We've been over this month. Jack, I'll take care of it. Mrs. Cabot, don't worry. I'll send someone to find Imogene. Thank you, Edward. I can always count on you. Why can't you be as devoted as dear Edward? <sighs> you shouldn't indulge her, Edward. It just makes her more impossible to deal with next time. Just doing my job. Speaking of which, here's all we got back of the last delivery from Parsons. Raiders got the rest of it, I'm sorry to say. Ah, oh, good. Finally. This will help settle Mother down. Emma Jean is Jack's sister. You probably figured that out yourself. She's, uh, a little flighty. Impulsive. From time to time, she runs off. Usually with a new boyfriend. Then I send somebody to bring her home. No problem. I'll bring her back. The trouble usually isn't finding her. 
It's persuading her to come home. I don't know where she's gone, but I can give you a place to start. She's been spending a lot of time in Good Neighbor. That's a jazz club there, the third rail. Somebody there must know something. She's not known for keeping her mouth shut. I know the third rail. I'll ask around there. Let's go into our pit boy real quick. Put a level in. I would like to do toughness, but I think what I'm going to do is science. That way we can finish that up and then we'll work on toughness next. And then pickpocketing. Almost said lock picking again. Let's go outside and then we're going to head to good neighbor. Go down to the third rail. Enjoy your stay. Hell of a load you're carrying. Better sell some to Daisy before someone swipes it. My client appreciates the work you did with his black Now you'll buy it that's here with you. You know Imogene Cabot? Name rings a bell. Kind of balmy. Haven't seen her in a while, though. Try Magnolia. She likes to make friends with people. She might know more about this missing bird. Magnolia! This guy wants a word! Holy moly, that was loud. Ugh, scared the shit out of me. Excuse me. Hmm? What's the matter, handsome? Don't tell me you didn't like the song. I love the song. It was perfect. Oh, well, thank you. A girl tries her best. <laughs> now, there's something special about you, isn't there? Don't tell me. Let me guess. It's your eyes. Quick and uh, intense. I bet you never miss a detail, hmm? <laughs> you like what you see? So what brings a man like you to my part of town? Oh, I woke up here. Just me, my underwear, and regret. <laughs> that sounds like the beginning of a great song. I think you and I are going to get along. So it's my turn to answer questions, right? What can I do for you? Do you know Imogene Cabot? Imogene? Sure. I know her. I haven't seen her in a while, though. Are you a friend of hers? She's missing, and her family's worried about her. Oh, I'm glad somebody's looking out for her. She seemed like a body that could use looking after. Please, tell me what you know. There was this preacher fellow who used to come in here all the time. One of the slick ones. Always going on about remaking your life and so on. Most of the customers wouldn't give him the time of day, but Emma Jean... She latched on to him for some reason. I don't suppose it hurt that he was easy on the eyes. Mmm, intense. Some women find that irresistible. Pam! Would you come over here a minute? Is there a problem, Miss Magnolia? No, this fine gentleman here was just looking for Imogene. Do you happen to know where that... Preacher fella came from? Hmm. Brother Thomas? Yes, that's right. The one Imogene was always hanging on. Had to throw him out. Wouldn't stop bothering customers with that salvation racket. Kept going on and on about joining him at the back bay. Then he'd shove those stupid flyers in your face. Here, I kept one of them. Just in case he didn't pay his bar tab. Hmm. Well, thanks, honey. You were a big help. Anything for you, miss. I hope Imogene's all right. I didn't much like the idea of her going off with that preacher fellow. Something I can do for you, handsome? I wouldn't mind hearing a different song. A good musician listens to her audience. How about this one? Real quick, I did grab the hollow tape over here for the new Some fine beer recipe. Weapons. All you have to do is pick it up. Oh. Uh, you hold X 
and you can pick things up. If you pick it up and walk over here where Wait you met McCready and um, set it down anywhere, doesn't really matter. And then you crouch and pick it up. You should be able to not get caught. And then you can bring it to the, uh, what is his name? Drinking buddy, I think it is. And he'll have a new beer recipe to give you. Let's go ahead and turn our pit boy on. We'll bring out our weapon. And then we'll go into the financial district. We're going to follow this path around. Ah, uh, what's that? Ah, thank you. here and then there should be a couple here super mutants right over you, here somewhere I got a treat for you yeah there they are take care of them try not to get seen by the other super mutants We can stand up now. Let's go ahead and put our weapon away. And then we're going to take a right and come over here to the amphitheater. <clears throat> Welcome, neighbor. We're always glad to see a new face around here. Tell me something. You ever feel like this whole world is broken? Do you ever wonder why things can't be the way they were in the good old days? I'm looking for Emma Jean Cabot. Oh, I'm sorry, but Emma Jean is indisposed right now. She's not seeing visitors. Uh, her family's worried about her. You can tell them that she's fine. Not that it's any of your business, but she and I are just having a little relationship trouble. You know how it is. <laughs> She's not seeing anybody until she cools off. I'm a friend of the family. Maybe I can talk some sense into her. Look, the truth is, we had a little, uh, disagreement about her joining the movement. She got kind of violent. So I locked her in there until I could figure out what to do with her. If you're willing to take her off my hands, let me unlock the door for you and then she's all yours. Uh, I've got to warn you, she's way stronger than she looks. It took all of us combined to even get her locked up in there. That's one of the things the serum does do for you, is it does boost your strength for a short time. All yours, neighbor. Don't tell me. Jack sent you. You're Jack's sister? I was expecting someone a bit... younger. You really know how to flatter a lady, don't you? Just to be clear, I'm Jack's younger sister, the baby of the family. Once I get home and get some of Jack's serum, I'll be back to my usual stunning self. Jack has a serum that reverses aging? It's more like it halts aging. I started taking it when I was 32, so normally that's what I look like. You'll see once I get my treatment. I was well known as one of the bells of Boston society, back when there was any. Actually, there's only one vial of the serum left. 
Raiders got the rest. I'd better get home before Mother convinces Jack that she needs all of it. That he could still be such a mama's boy at his age is ridiculous. I'm so disappointed in Thomas. He seemed so interesting at first. But after we came here, he turned out to be just another brute. He actually thought he could force me to join his absurd cult. Your boyfriend Thomas was a real charmer. I was done with him. And he shouldn't have locked me in here. Oh, I'm not going with you. You can tell Mother I'll be along home before too long. I just need a drink first. Let's fast travel back over to the Cabot house. Hear me now, Edward! Damn, the signal is strangely weak. Oh Edward, my God, switch it's over to the Hartley modulator. Do you copy? Now, how's this? Oh, oh, that's done it, Edward. What's going on there? We're under attack. They're inside the building. Inside? Can you keep them out of the basement? I'm trying, Jack. I I've never seen raiders. That For God's sake, Sammy, the doorway right there. Sorry, things are a little busy around here right now. Listen, if they're inside the building, you have to go to the office and shut down the elevator. You can't risk them getting to Lorenzo. Got it. Office. Elevator. You better round up whoever you can and get... Hello? Edward? Come in! Edward! Ah. There's no signal at all. I've lost him. What's happening, Jack? If these people are inside Parsons, if they free him... Don't worry, I'll handle it. I always knew it would end this way. I never should have allowed you to lock up Lorenzo in that place. That isn't helping, Mother. And as I recall, using the serum was your idea, not mine. So what are you going to do? I said I'll handle it. I'm thinking. Who are you again? What's going on? That was Edward. He's at Parsons, the old asylum. They're under attack by raiders. It's strange. The guards have held off raiders before without any trouble. I don't know what's gone wrong this time. Let's go. Good. I'll explain on the way. Hold on. Weren't you off looking for Imogene? Did you find her? Yes, I found her. She's fine. Oh, good. At least there's one small comfort on this terrible day. You'll be wanting to be paid, of course. Edward usually handles these things. Caps is what you use for currency, isn't that right? Here. I hope that's the right amount. Before we go, I need you to understand something. When we get to Parsons, you need to do exactly what I tell you. Nothing more, nothing less. Is that clear? Got it. Good. Make sure you have whatever you'll need for a serious battle. I'll wait for you outside. Jack, be careful. And try not to hurt him. I love Father at least as much as you do. But you know as well as I do that if he gets free, there will only be one option. Don't let it come to that, please. I'll do my best, Mother. And if Imogene finally comes home, for God's sake, don't let her leave again until I get back. Now I really do have to go. Oh. Okay, before we head off here with Jack, we're going to go upstairs. All this was locked before and we couldn't get in here. So we're going to head upstairs and get, grab ourselves a magazine. So we go into Jack's room, grab a Massachusetts Surgical Journal. There we go. And then we can head out and, oh my goodness, dog meat, move. We're just going to fast travel to the Parsons State Insane Asylum instead of following Jack all the way there. Ready? Let's go. Let's go ahead and fast travel over here. Edward's men seem to have given a good account of themselves, but not good enough, sadly. We need to get to my office. From there, we can see how bad things really are. Okay, stick close, follow my orders, and I'm sure everything will be fine. Let's go.
Damn. Can't open it from this end. The door's blocked from the other side somehow. We'll have to find a way around. Just to give everybody a heads up, this quest can be a bit buggy. Where do you ask? You are so dead! Lefty's right about this being where that new I think something's broken! So if you have to, do a quick save before going in here. I've done this hundreds of times. You think you'll be any different? Just stay next to Jack. As long as he's moving, the quest will keep moving along. At least hopefully it will. Playing games with me, huh? Come on, Jack. You can do it, bud. Quit bugging out. Edward, how badly are you hurt? I'm not dead yet, but I don't think I can get up. You kept them from using the elevator? Yeah. I, I sent the elevator down to the basement, like you wanted, and shut it down. Good. Shot quite a few of them before they decided to leave me alone in here. <sighs> Haven't seen anybody for quite a while, I think. It's hard to keep track of time. Are you sure you can't get up? I could really use your help. Yeah, Jack. I'm pretty damn sure. Well, then don't worry about it. Me and your friend here will have to take care of things ourselves. They've definitely reached the basement. Although I don't understand how they knew how to get past... It doesn't matter now. We'll have to go through the abandoned part of the building. It looks like the Abremelin field is still functioning. Although several of the security doors in the basement have already been breached. We'd better hurry if we want to stop them. They seem determined to reach Lorenzo for some reason. Got it. Let's go. Just follow my instructions and everything will be fine. Be careful, Jack. You too. Let's go ahead and grab the charisma bobblehead. Excellent. Now our charisma is maxed out. All good stuff. There. What the? Come over here. Kill some raiders. There's some up top too. Be really careful. Go ahead and disarm that frag mine. You are trespassing again. Or else again. Jack will step on it, and sometimes you could be right next to it and get hurt as well. You're nothing. Go ahead and go through this door. What a mess. Let's hope we can find a way through. The utility elevator is on the bottom floor. Well, like Come on. Tells us anything. Those mercs put up a good fight, huh? What, did those morons out front just let you walk right in? Ah, mm. oh, man! I'm coming to see what's out there. Someone's out there! So if you're like a ghost or whatever, <laughs> just leave me alone. <laughs> oh. I'm losing <laughs> Kicking? Jesus! 
Nothing there now. What do you think? I don't know. Jump in a shack. Yeah, you're probably right. Shit! Where do you assholes keep coming from? Ha! Found your sorry ass! Ah! Ah, my arm! Damn it! Come on, Jack. Playing games with me, huh? Time to reel him in. Reload sometime, ah! asshole. Ah! More of them? No, no. Explosive ammunition. The downside of it. Come on, bud. We got to wait for him to get up. Thankfully, it didn't take him too long. Keep your eyes open. I think this asshole's using the stealth boy. Ah! Open ah! fire! Ah! Where is Jack at? He's over there somewhere. That's okay. We're going to take the elevator down. It is a quote unquote loading screen. Going down. He should load into the elevator. If not, he's going to load in after the elevator gets down to its destination. Kill everyone you see. Don't hesitate. We can't let them release Lorenzo. Sorry about that, everybody. The quest bugged out a little bit. I had to do a reload. For some reason, Jack Cabot did not want to go down that elevator. Those idiots are trying to shut down the Abremelin field. That's the only thing keeping Lorenzo from breaking out of there. We need to get in there and stop them. Hello, Jack. It's been a long time since I've had the pleasure of a personal visit. Father, I will stop this. My powers have grown, Jack. The artifact still has so much to teach me. Once I am free, I will be happy to teach you too. You know I can't let you out until I can remove the artifact. Let me see. Lucifer's balls. They've locked down all the security doors. I'll have to open them one by one from here while you work your way down the hallway. Quickly now. That's right. You need to shut down the containment field in order to open the door. We're so close now. You've almost got it. That's right. I'm opening the main you door. You need to shut Hurry. down the containment the field in is order down. to open the door. Huh? Apparently, are, even the bastard. simplest task is beyond oh, your capabilities. That's <laughs> it. I can feel my strength returning. Now, I will finally be free. There's still one chance. I just need a moment to enter the failsafe codes. It's not too late. It will take some time for him to regain his powers. We still have a chance to stop him. Don't listen to my son. He's the crazy one. You know this. Look at what he's done to me. I built a failsafe into the containment grid. Switched the four of Remelin generators to manual override, and I can flood his cell with a lethal dose of Zeta radiation. Do the right thing. Open this door and let me out. Do not listen to him. This is what he does. Surely you can see that. Please, just open the door. So there's two ways to finish this quest. You can kill Lorenzo, Hurry. or you return. can let Lorenzo out. Lorenzo is do the right absolutely thing. evil, let me out so here. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to 
kill Lorenzo. Everything my son has told you about me is a self-serving lie. That must be obvious now. That's it. Don't worry. The Zeta radiation won't harm you. I'm sorry, Father. I did everything I could to avoid this. I believe I was close to finding a way to remove the artifact. Liar! You would have fed upon me here forever if you'd had your way. Puny worm. <laughs> Do you truly think you have the power to destroy me? <laughs> Good Goodbye, Father. We're gonna come in here, grab another Massachusetts surgical journal. Hell yeah. And then we're gonna grab Lorenzo's suit. Talk to Jack Cabot. <clears throat> we didn't have any other choice, did we? It was the only option left. I hope you're right. I think this time I really was close to finding a way to cure him. His crimes, back when he was free. It was only because of my family's influence that he ended up here, rather than on death row. The world now, it's a world made from monsters. Nothing could have stopped him. No. I've had my own question. We truly had no choice. I'm sorry about Lorenzo. Thank you. I appreciate that. Before you go, I couldn't have done this without your help. I think this is fair compensation. I won't be needing your services after this. Great. Thanks. One more thing. I've done so much research on the artifact. I may be able to do something with it. Come back and see me at Cabot House in a week or so. All my research may not have been completely in vain. We'll be sure to go visit Jack Cabot in a week's time. For now, we're going to take the elevator up. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of this quest. Not because of the writing or anything, but mainly because of the bugginess. Anytime you have an escort quest, it can be pretty buggy in Fallout games. Unfortunately, this one seemed to be quite buggy. Let's go ahead and put our combat rifle away. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to end the video. Alrighty, everyone. I want to start by telling you all thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean a lot to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night. Whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.